Now what I've done with my leaf shape here, I've put some arrows sort of indicating the direction um, that I want the stitches to go in. Because obviously the leaf, if we just did this all the way down straight, it wouldn't have the movement that perhaps a leaf has. So think about this when you're doing the, the shape, a petal or a leaf. So we're working down from the centre here and we're going down towards the middle. You could do a vein line up the middle and work to that vein line and stop every single stitch along that on both sides. But we're actually going to make this a whole piece and put the vein line in afterwards. So remember that the, the lines, the direction in which you're going, your piece, your shape is going. So you start at the top here and we're gonna go down, fanning these stitches around to the central point at the bottom here. Um, I'm using a very crude blue pen here so you guys can see it but um, I mean this is very strong I wouldn't perhaps recommend it normally for your embroidery just a good 2H pencil would be great and 2H is really useful to use uh, particularly for using like whites and creams because the graphite doesn't go off into your threads so that's really important don't use anything harder than a, a softer than a 2H pencil otherwise say the pencil marks might come into your threads so let's now start with the green thread <laughs> 